chaotic morning fest to prophet Nigel Gazi. You know, leader of the True Word Prophetic Fire Ministries. That's one, and there has to be an Arkea to Brozovic. Brozovic. In fact, it's a, a <laughs> Brozovic Kea this morning, and and, and Spalletti, the the yeah, Inter Milan I mean, coach. Yes, yes. The defending of a free of kick, that free kick, was mind blowing. I mean, last time. I mean, forget about the result. Yes, I know Barcelona won that game by two goals to nil, but that was Let me just a see. masterstroke. Yeah, you go ahead. Let me just say that Barcelona has shown class, <laughs> has shown that it can, it is bigger than Messi, has shown that <laughs> oh, there is a difference. Game. That's only one game. There they is they a tried. difference. Tried, two yeah. zero against AS Roma. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, against Inter Milan. Inter Milan. Inter Milan. <laughs> and and that's classic. Now we can talk about those. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, but, 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 but I'm that, tempted to say if Messi was in the game, they could have scored maybe three games. No, 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 no. I don't doubt that. But they won the game. They they tried. They won the game, <laughs> bruv. They, there's a certain team that has lost a certain player, <laughs> and after that, the team has not become a team again. Okay, so actually, you know what? Yeah, uh, this was some um, 18 yards. Yes, 18 yards. An 18 yard free, free kick. kick. Hard ground. Barcelona up. had decided to go low, and then that's what they normally do because this was very, very close. And Inter Milan defensive wall had also organized very well, so they were looking at being right on time when Suarez hit the ball. They expected that their Inter Milan wall will go up. But once the wall goes up, Rostovic has to lie down dives with his body at all. Oh under the and wall. <laughs> and my, <you> know, <laughs> only, my only question is, bruv, what if he had not timed his dive well yeah. and the guy stepped on him? Oh, but he didn't. No, no, no. no, no it, it, was, it was perfectly executed. I Someone would say, wawuzi, wawu. <laughs> <laughs> but it was perfectly executed. Look, it was, it was, it was um, great. If I was supposed to award points or something, I'll say, well, that alone is a goal. <laughs> you know, the other, the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> the but it was good. It was good. Urban Nights on Joy gets bigger and bigger. And bigger it's going to be happening again in November. Bigger. You know how we do it. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Um, yeah. So the Sports Center is brought to you by Brozovic and Spalletti. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, Spalletti had to be careful. Do you remember the last time that Barcelona why, met Spalletti when he, was, to... when he was Roma coach? 7 1. Uh -huh. mm. That was so beautiful. Thank God I'm not even spoken about Liverpool. Let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you will speak about Liverpool. Oh, mm. <laughs> okay, so apart from Brozovic, the, the Sports Centre is brought to you by MT and welcome to the new world. Uh, Standard Chartered Bank here for good. Epac blows your pain away. Multi TV just thrills and Cowbell Gold. Energy for winners. Exciting things are happening with MT and Momo. Keep using your MT and Momo wallets to make payments, send money, and just do more on MT and Momo to build points. And you could win an iPhone X, Samsung S9 Plus. Samsung TV sets and up to 2,000 Ghana CDs cash every month plus many more exciting prizes. Just dial star 120 hash to check your points. Promo lasts till 31st October 2018. Please note, promo winners will be called only with 0244 300,000 to redeem their prize from the MTN office and not through text messages. Promo winners will not receive any promo codes. Promo winners do not have to pay anything to redeem a prize. So go on, just Momo it everywhere you go. Terms and conditions apply. Now we have made the move, yes. We move to our new state of the art head office, an edifice that embodies our continued growth, support for our communities, our drive for innovation, and our optimism for the future. You're welcome to number 87 Independence Avenue, close to the Aqua J interchange as we commence this chapter in our rich history from this new head office we will continue to support the trade and investment activities of many generations of Ghanaians. now the charted here, here for, for good. good and uh, of course we have to get into the sports center All right then, Barcelona maintain their 100% start in the season's Champions League as they cruise to a 2-0 victory over Inter Milan in a commentary game last night at the New Camp. Rafinha opened the scoring for the hosts who were without Lionel Messi after he fractured his arm on Saturday and Jordi Alba did the rest. The ball is in with Barcelona, finally yeah, with Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal sends the ball in again, was able to pick that from Sergio Roberto. Then the ball comes down in again, he touches down and that's a wonderful goal! Just gets that off there, Johnny Alba inside the penalty box. And when he received them, all he needed to do was let the ball above the goalkeeper. Barcelona lead by two goals to nil. And Johnny Alba, good work, son. 
grasped onto the ball and with the left foot planted the ball down the right hand side. Goalkeeper Handanovic had absolutely no idea and it's two goals to nil. Yeah, victory sent the five time champions league winners, you know, Claire at the top of Group B with three wins from three and Inter Milan are now second with six points. Tottenham's chances of reaching the knockout stages of the Champions League are nearly over, according to Mauricio Pochettino. Now, the Spurs boss saw his goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, sent off for a moment of madness before Luke de Jong's 87th minute equaliser denied them a Champions League victory over PSV. PSV into the penalty area. Sanchez will head it away. Comes out to Rosario. It'll flick by de Jong. De Jong has equalised. Late drama. Three minutes remaining. And de Jong flicks the ball past Michel Vaughan. And Tottenham, who dominated for so long, have conceded an equaliser that could be so damaging in this Champions League campaign. It's a must-win match. And it's now 2-2. So we'll hear from Pochettino in a bit first though, uh, Spurs forward Ericsson. If you've seen the game, I think we should have finished it off, uh, myself as well, uh, should have finished the game off with all the shots and chances we created, uh, but that's that's the Champions League football and, and football in general, if we don't finish it off it makes it easy for themselves and uh, yeah, a few mistakes lead to their goals and uh, the ref don't want to give us a goal, it's a proper goal the first one, so uh, yeah, everything was really against us. Uh, it's nearly, 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 nearly over, I think uh, we'll see what happens now. Uh, Again, Barcelona and Inter Milan, but houses. we only won one Empty point after three games. Would be so different. Want to thank you uh, let's do more here. Of course, Mohamed awesome. Salah scored twice to reach a half century of Liverpool goals in a comfortable victory over Red Star Belgrade as the Reds went top of Champions League Group C. It was a dominant display from the host Roberto Firmino, firing in Andy Robertson's cut back on 20 minutes. Salah got his first just before the break and then had a second to reach an impressive landmark by converting a penalty won by Salah. Sadio Mane. Mane then slaughtered a fourth goal with 10 minutes to go, having missed another penalty just moments before. Mohamed Salah is happy about his latest feat. Yeah, I'm very proud to score my 50 goals in the I think, 67 games, something like that. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. But, you know, the most important thing, as I said before, is the team. We need to win the games. We need to, to, to fight for each game. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, I hope we're going to win it, you know, if you play without ambition, without you want to reach the final and win the final, it's better to stay at home. <laughs> really good game, Liverpool fans very excited with that, four goals to nil, hope it's really coming back. Mm, that's a big test anyway, because this is just where it's that will great. Elsewhere, Angel Di Maria scored a stunning stoppage time equaliser to end Paris Saint-Germain, a 2-2 draw at home to Napoli. What is going on with Borussia Dortmund? They're absolutely on fire. They beat Atletico Madrid by four goals to nil in Germany. Now Galatasaray drew a goal as with Schalke 04 in Turkey. FC Porto were 3-1 winners over Lokomotiv Moscow. And earlier, Thierry Henry's AS Monaco drew 1-1 with Club Bruges. All right, so we move away from the UEFA Champions League and we'll have to talk about the Europa League. Hello, Arsenal and Chelsea fans. Okay, let's talk about Chelsea first. They take on Bata Borisov at the Stamford Bridge. And for Arsenal, they are up against Sporting Lisbon now there in Portugal. Arsenal boss Unai Emery is confident of winning tonight. For us, first, this, this competition is very, very important. And uh, the opposition tomorrow, Sporting Lisbon, it's a, a very good team with a very big experience in, in this competition and, and also with a, a good player. But uh, for us, uh, in this moment, we are two, two teams, uh, both in the first position. And All right, let's do some more then. We'll get into uh, some more football right now. Of course, AS Vita Club of the Democratic Republic of Congo reached the CAF Confederations Cup final last night with a 4 0 drubbing of Al Masri of Egypt, who staged a temporary second half walk off. Al Masri players wrongly believe the third goal scored by Jean Marc Makuzu on 75 minutes was offside and walked to the sidelines where they stayed for five minutes before they resumed, you know, uh, in the two leg final. Vita Club will face Roger Casablanca of Morocco, who defeated a Nyimba of 
of Nigeria. That's a bit, that's a heartbreak, you know. And Yimba of Nigeria by two goals to one in North Africa, you know, later for a 3 1 aggregate victory. So that's it. We know where the Champions League final, the CAF Champions League final is going. And now we have a great idea of where the CAF Confederations Cup final is also going. More football and a new and expanded club World Cup held every year featuring some of the Premier League and Europe's top clubs has been proposed by FIFA. The BBC's Andy Barwell has more. A new and expanded Club World Cup has been proposed by FIFA. In official documents seen by the BBC, there are two options for an annual tournament alongside the original plan for a competition every four years. FIFA's ruling council will decide whether and how to proceed at a two-day meeting in Rwanda. European football's governing body UEFA are expected to vote against the plans. The Club World Cup is currently held every December and features seven teams from six confederations. Early this year, the FIFA president Gianni Infantino proposed expanding it to 24 teams, including 12 from Europe, with the competition to be staged every four years. All right, then, let's do some stories right here in Ghana. And Black Queen's coach Bashir Hayford is expected to name a provisional 30-month squad tomorrow for this year's Africa Women's Championship. Skipper Elizabeth Addo, who has recently moved for, I mean, from the U.S. to Australia, and three other players have arrived in camp at the Ghana Man Soccer Centre of Excellence. Uh, former Black Queen's captain Adra Bayo believes coach Bash will name a good squad for the tournament. Uh, the only thing I will say, uh, just for the players, they should just focus. The only problem we will have is Cameroon. They play tough, so we have to be strong. That is all. But do you think that we can win this? Uh, we can win. As for our group, it's good. It's good. The group is good for Ghana. So I think they will win. The entitlement for now, I can't say much because some of the players are not in camp. The professional. They have not in camp for now. So we will just, just wait for a while and wait for if they all come together before we can judge and say whether it's worse than we know. Right then, former Ghana Boxing Authority boss, you know, Moses Forbony, who is now the technical and marketing consultant of Bukum Fist the Fury, has stated that security would not be compromised as the competition enters its second week. According to him, they have learned very useful lessons after the last violence at the Bukum Boxing Arena, which saw fans entering the ring to cause mayhem. You know, because when you stretch security, you stretch the administration. We left the place around 3 a.m. on Saturday morning, and they have to come back at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock clock on that same Saturday. I don't think that's right. You know, so that's what caused all the trouble. It had nothing to do with the Book and Fist of Fury, but of course it affects the image of boxing. Uh, but we, and you could see, well definitely the arena, you know, so uh, the Asamoajan uh, you know, tournaments show that the right security measures have been taken. Uh, Ghanaians are more excited about what is happening and uh, clearly the, the, the best fights of the tournament are yet to come. Right, 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 right. So we look forward to that. And there will be a super preview to the Fist of Fury. It's a wonderful um, competition. I mean, wonderful event that's ongoing. We have the leagues running through and all. So tomorrow there will be a super, super preview uh, to that. Daniel, that's it though for the Joy Sports Centre. George, before we go, we have to do a care for a special oh. Elikem Akaba. Elikem. Elikem Akaba. True blue, uh, okay, true white <laughs> Real uh, Madrid fan. Elikem supports Real Madrid. <laughs> and when I was supporting, <laughs> one. when okay. I was referring to a certain team which is floundering after it lost a player, <laughs> Elikem t- tells me that I am attacking his team. I don't know. Um, but talk about your team. What is your problem? Oh, if I have, your Barca has won your game, yes. why do you go and talk about Madrid? Oh, I just wanted to make a, a quick reference to a certain team. I didn't mention it. He's just trying to remind you that there's a there's a classical meeting, you know, and um, that's why he's reminding you that this is happening on Sunday. <laughs> but good Barcelona morning, Akaba. versus Real Madrid. <laughs> oh, and good morning to you too as well, Bruce Molu. And Benis Abubedu is a is a is a Real Madrid, Madrid yes, fan. Yeah. A, hey, sorry, <laughs> Benis Lanza. <laughs> Doing this, I've told you this man. <laughs> you haven't been married before, that's why. Anyway, George, let me anyway, do no this. problems. Yes. Um, <laughs> this morning we are asking a simple uh, question oh. on the show. What gives you hope in Ghana? <laughs> Jesus, this question. You know what? I think we have wonderful personalities in this country who know what to do, but are just not doing it. I am. I'm just hopeful that one day we will begin to do what we know is right. That is just our, that's our problem. So your hope is we that speak so we well. know yes. what's right. Yes, that's it. Because I know we speak a lot on radio. We say a lot in church. We do everything. The problem is we fail to act. Everybody knows what's right. And we're not doing it. Simple and you as hope that, that we'll hope, yeah, yeah, I hope. I really hope that <laughs> we'll be acting sometime 
we'll start doing the things we have to do sometime okay someday so soon that's a care for ghana <laughs> so that's george adu jr submission uh shark attack tweeting as don shark 007 uh, says the peace alone we enjoy in ghana is everything let's not forget our good food and rich culture and tradition